Hello, <clears throat> this is Rich, and in this video, I'm going to be expanding on the real-time C++ scripting feature of the Snappy API. Um, a little while ago, I did a little tutorial about the prototype of real-time C++ scripting. Um, currently, the uh, last time, the compile time was uh, pretty exhaustive. I mean, uh, for a change to take effect, it took about 15 to 17 seconds. Um, I told you that I was going to be making improvements on this, so yesterday, which is uh, when I did the tutorial, I worked on it after the tutorial, and here I am again showing you the speed improvements. So remember that the um, speed was between 15, 17 seconds, which is quite a bit, but now we're going to take a look at um, some a little bit more features of exactly what you can do with C++ scripting, um, and as well as a speed increase. So here we go. Again, it's the exact same script testing application. All it does is spawn a window, set the color to background color to blue, and then shows it. We're running in release mode. Okay, background color to blue. Now we're gonna to go to our script here. Our program is running, you can see this, by that it's running here, and Visual Studio is showing that we can stop the debug process. So what we're going to do is have our script. We have a test script.cpp file. Now, before we had to actually click the solution and then file save all in order for the changes to take effect. This no longer is the case. We can just simply right click and save our changes on the file and it will automatically take effect. Let's go ahead and do something. This write function actually for testing gets called every single frame um, just for testing purposes. We want to make sure that our write function is available to um, the host application here. So we make sure that we uh, uh, prepend the script API macro. It's basically defined as XTERN C uh, DLL export. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of these includes here. Okay. And we're going to use Snappy. We're going to tell the window to do something. So we're going to take Snappy and we're going to get the I render system. Okay. We got the render system, but we ran into a problem. We obviously don't know exactly what the render system is. Pointer to incomplete class type. No problem. Real-time scripting supports including as well. Anything you can expect from a C++ program or uh, language is supported 100% uh, in the scripting language. So it's full C++, no restrictions applied. We're going to access the uh, Snappy library. Okay. I have my include settings specified in the project settings. And we're going to include the snappy's i render system.h. Once we have that, we can now use the i render system. And we're going to write text. We're going to write text to the screen. And it takes a few parameters, but only uh, three that we need. We'll give it the text we want to write. And we'll, it takes a wide string, so we need to uh, make a litter with an L in front of it. And we're going to say 100. And then we're going to need the uh, position. So we're going to use Snappy's Vector2F uh, template class here, Vector2F. Uh, Vector2F is the Vector2 class, but it's type def as the Vector2 float template. So we're going to construct it with the position of 0, 0. So we're going to write the text at the top left-hand corner of the window. And we're going to uh, tell it the size. How much, uh, where on, how much space could this text take up? I happen to know that the window is uh, four, uh, 600 by 400 resolution. So we're going to tell the text that it's allowed to take up the full uh, 600 by 400 resolution. So if we wanted to, we can keep writing a whole bunch of text that's quite exhaustive, and it would fill up the entire screen because it's allowed to because it's allowed to take up to 600 by 400. It's very simple. Beautiful. Now I'm going to go ahead and save it as you can see and we have up here 100 is now printed. Let's do something else. Let's get access to the window here and change the background color. It's blue so let's change it to red. So we'll get snappy again. We're going to get the, um, the eye application we don't know exactly what the I application is, no problem. Let's go ahead and include it. And let's include Snappy's I application dot H. It should now know what the I application class is all about. And we're going to get the window. Now that we've gotten the window, 
Uh oh, what's this? We can't access it because we need the CUI window control. So let's go ahead and tell it that we need the CUI window control. CUI window. And we're going to go IntelliSense and we're going to uh, set the windows uh, background color. And we got to pass it a color U. Color U is the color uh, class, but it's actually for unsigned cars. So it's zero to 255, no floats. Or we have the color F class. We can give you uh, zero to one using decimals. Zero meaning black, one meaning white. It doesn't matter, they're interchangeable. Um, they're implicitly convertible to each other. So you can pass a color F into a color U parameter and automatically convert it to uh, the zero to 255 or vice versa. So let's go ahead and uh, instead of manually typing, let's use our color preset class here. And we'll, uh, we'll make it a uh, red, red color, beautiful. We're gonna duplicate this line here. And, whoops, we're going to make sure you set the uh, foreground color as well. Set the foreground color to red. Now, I'm gonna save the file and we're gonna see um, how uh, long this takes. So we're gonna right click and we're gonna save and then we're gonna keep looking here. So we have about a three uh, to four second time span um, for which this uh, change takes place um, drastically faster. So like I said, it's about three to four seconds is the turnaround time here. Now, don't forget, this script is using the entire Snappy um, library. Um, and Snappy is a, a massive library. So not only um, is this a script that I'm loading in um, and taking three to four seconds, I'm also um, actually have to link in the entire Snappy library. So not bad for three to four seconds. Let's go ahead and make another change here. I can actually in real time add classes. So I'm going to add a new class here just to show you. And we're just gonna name it my class here and get rid of the definitions and just put empty definitions here. We're gonna make int and we're gonna say get value, okay? And we're gonna return, let's just say five. Okay, so now we have my class that has a function, get value, and it returns five. So now we have a brand new class that we created. And we're gonna create an instance of it, my class, MC. And then for the writing the text, we're actually gonna um, convert this uh, return value of five into a, a white string. So we're gonna use the standard libraries two string uh, 2w string here, and we're going to pass in the my class dot get value, showing showcasing that you can actually add anything, classes, structs, anything you want to your script, and it will automatically take effect into the hosting application. So what we're going to do is right click, save one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, and we have the five displaying up there absolutely beautiful um, that about wraps it up you can do anything you want um, in your uh, API again in your script I should say um, you could as you can see here um, create an entire application <laughs> while your program is running the possibilities are endless I'm extremely uh, happy and proud that I can offer this feature to snappy developers um, I am looking in the future to offer some sort of beta, uh, but currently it's still heavy in development, uh, the entire Snappy library, I'm working on um, stableness, working on making sure it's stable uh, and ease of use. Um, but what you can see from right here, it's very ease of use. I mean, everything's accessible from the uh, G underscore P Snappy global variable, everything. We got the sound system, we got the physics system, we got the uh, application rendering system, um, networking, animation, you have it all here uh, re uh, for models and all that stuff, but very, very easy. And for the last bit, we're gonna simply shut down the program. So we're gonna get Snappy, get the application, and then we're gonna shut down the application. So we're gonna save, and then three to four seconds later, the application should shut down. Let me bring it over here so you can see the application here. We're gonna go.
and the entire application is shut down. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy and please leave a comment. Um, tell me how awesome this is or if you have any suggestions, uh, let me know. Uh, thank you very much and I uh, hope you enjoy and I look forward in the future to uh, releasing more showcases of snappy features. Thank you. Bye.